Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. Did you do something interesting? Only work, only job. Only work? Yeah. Did you work Saturday and Sunday? Yes, teacher. Wow, that's a lot. And the rest of you? What did you do? The rest of you, what did you do? I sleep. You, you sleep. <laughs> Okay, that's nice. And how are you doing with the platform? Yes, it's You're doing fine. I'm fine. Okay, cool. All right, so um, we're going to... Well, I see that some of you are still missing. I see a few people. But we're going to start. I sent the presentation that we are going to use. I uh, sent it yesterday. I know that some people like to have it um, like handy, right? This is what we have. And we were practicing some vocabulary about places and things that we can get. This is what we did in the previous class that we had on Thursday, right? We were discussing about places and the things that we can do in different places. Uh, this is in your material. Uh, we're going to start practicing pronunciation. Let's repeat, a bank. A bank. A bank. A drugstore. A bank. A drugstore. A post office. A drugstore. A post office. A gas station. A gas station. A gas station. A restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant. A bookstore. A, book a department book store. A department store. A supermarket. A department store. Okay. Do you have any question about this vocabulary or something that is not really clear? No questions? No, no questions. Okay, so what we're going to do here is to match the things with the places. What are the things that we have in the list? Let's repeat. Aspirin. 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 Bread. 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 A dictionary. A dictionary. A dictionary. Gasoline. Gasoline. A sandwich. A sandwich. A sweatshirt. A sweatshirt. Traveler's check. Traveler's check. Okay, what we're going to do is to match. And for example, we have number one, it's already done. We say uh, you can buy or you can get an aspirin in a drugstore. Tenemos aspirin, ¿a dónde podemos comprar o obtener una aspirina? En una drugstore, por eso está la letter B acá, que es de drugstore. Y decimos la oración, you can buy an aspirin in a drugstore. Okay. Si tienen su material por ahí, lo pueden hacer en su material y luego chequeamos. Yeah. 
teacher, um, traveler checks es como ticket de viaje. Ok, gracias. Yeah, es, es un boleto, ajá. Okay, number two, volunteer for number two. A supermarket. Um, Age. Can you say the complete sentence? Uh, you can miss it. Um, bread and supermarket. Okay, excellent. Choose someone for number three. Edwin, thank uh, you. You can buy a um, dictionary at bookstore. Excellent. Very good. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Good. Uh, volunteer for number four. I. Okay, thank you. You can buy gasoline at gas station. Okay, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Excellent. Number five. Volunteer for number five. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Yes, we can okay. listen. Number five, number five. Yes, please. Um, you can buy um. A restaurant. Uh, you can buy a sandwich in a restaurant. You can buy a sandwich on a restaurant. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Number six. Volunteer for number six. Me. Thank you, Asmel. Okay. You can buy stamps in the post office. Excellent. Very good. Now, a sweatshirt. Volunteer. <laughs> You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Irvin. And the last one, number eight, volunteer. Sweet, sweet shoe. Number eight, traveler check. Traveler check. Nobody has it? Vaya hecho que no me voy a dormir todavía. Te lo gusta estar aquí. You can buy a travel check 
in the in the department store. Bank. Uh, at a bank. Okay. The bank. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much. Now let's uh, watch the video about the pronunciation of compound nouns. We're going to watch the video and study a little bit about compound nouns. And now we're going to compound noun. practice the uh, pronunciation for this topic. Let's see. Compound nouns are nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, what did you get from the video? What do you understand? The pronunciation of the places, different places. Uh, yes, aha, uh -huh. we studied the pronunciation of different places. Aha, uh -huh. what exactly? Compound nouns. Okay, ¿Qué dijo del estrés? What is stress? Compound nouns. Ajá, estamos hablando del estrés en nombres eh, compuestos, um, que es como si llevan dos palabras, básicamente, right? Or um, in this case, um, a post office, it's a compound noun. Y el estrés, ¿qué decía? ¿Qué explicaba qué es el estrés cuando hablamos de estrés que es en una palabra? Donde una en dos. La palabra compuesta. Sustantivo y se da en un solo. Ok, y el estrés. Es el sonido fuerte. Ajá, el sonido es sí. más fuerte. Es donde hacemos una fuerza en la voz. 
que en español le conocemos como acento, pero en inglés se conoce como estrés. Es esa fuerza en la voz. Usualmente cuando son nombres compuestos, eh, eh, la, el estrés o esa fuerza de voz la vamos a escuchar al principio. Donde ustedes ven este puntito es donde van a escuchar que hay una fuerza de voz. Por ejemplo, aquí vamos a escuchar post office. Se va a escuchar post office, post office. Right? La primera es la como que hay fuerza, post, post office. Fíjense bien donde escuchen la, la, el estrés. Vean en este puntito, ahí es donde van a escuchar que está el estrés. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop. Drugstore, bookstore, supermarket, department store. Ok. Le voy a poner el recording, le voy a poner el audio y mm, lo voy a poner dos veces. La primera para que escuchen y se fijen dónde está esa fuerza de voz, cabal, donde ven ese puntito, esa chibolita. Y luego se lo voy a poner para que repitan, escuchen y repitan. And that way you practice pronunciation. Ok. All right, can you see the, ven, ven la pantalla otra vez? Yes, it should. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Bookstore. Supermarket. Department store. Okay, now I'll play it again and please repeat. Page 87, exercise 4, pronunciation. Compound nouns. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drug store. Drug store. Supermarket. Department store. Department store. Supermarket. Okay, now we have these sentences. Let us practice this sentence. Vamos a practicar esta. There is a restroom in the drugstore. There is a restroom in the drugstore. There drug is a store. restroom in the drugstore. Okay, let's repeat everybody. There is a restroom in the drugstore. There, 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 there is a bookstore in the department store. There is a bookstore in the department store. There is a bookstore in the department store. There isn't a post office in the supermarket. One more time. There isn't a post office in the supermarket. There is not a coffee shop in the gas station. There is not a coffee shop in the gas station. Very good. Any questions about this? Questions, no. comments? No, nothing? No. 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 Okay, so we will move on. We practice this now. Listening, we're going to listen. In this part, she said, I need a new swimsuit. You know what's a swimsuit? Swimsuit. What's a swimsuit? Traje de baño. Un traje de baño. Let's see, swimsuit. Okay, that is the topic of the listening. I need a new swimsuit. Les mandé ayer la presentación eh, para que la tuvieran ahí a la mano. Eh, pero si no, eh, eh, pueden escribir en el cuaderno las respuestas, ¿verdad? 
si no tuvieran chancecito de o oh, oh, verdad <ríe> lo pueden hacer en el cuaderno les voy a dar un, un ratito para que lo vayan escribiendo vamos a escuchar a la familia Anderson there is a conversation what do they need es lo que vamos a responder qué es lo que necesitan a donde dice what vamos a poner qué es lo que necesita qué es lo que necesita Jean a swimsuit a dónde lo va a comprar ahí vamos a escuchar en el listening y vamos a escribir qué necesita y a dónde lo va a comprar la, aquí la cosa y aquí el lugar eso es lo que vamos a escuchar qué necesita Jean mom dad and Mike No escucho. Ya, ahorita. Ah, ok. I'm sorry, teacher. Ahorita les pongo el audio. ¿Ya todos están listos? ¿Ready? Yes. I'm ready. Ok, perfecto. Lo voy a poner dos veces, así es que no, no vayan a ir corriendo. Dice, ay, me quedé, ¿qué dijo? No worries, I'll play it twice. Eh, pero espérenme que no. Esta es la presentación, vea. Tengo que ir aquí al. Ay, ¿Dónde estaba? Listening. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Ok. Listen. Yo no sé si soy la única, pero yo no veo la presentación. Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. No, no se ve. Yo creo que no nadie se mira, la... ni se okay. escucha. Ahorita, ahorita. No escuchan tampoco. No. Let me share again. Share sound, pero si sí está activado. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What? Ahora sí. Hoy sí, ahora sí. Exercise 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. So one more time. Page 87, exercise 2, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. 
Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 2. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. 3. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. 4. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. All right, let's check the answers. Um, okay, Jean needs a swimsuit. Where is she going to uh, buy it? A department store. Department store. Department store, okay. What does mom need? Cookie. Cookies. 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 Where is she going to get in? Supermarket. Supermarket. Mm, what does dad need? Aspiring. 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 Where is he going to get them? The store. Store. The and store. what about Mike? What does he need? Magazine. Magazine. Where is he going to get them? Bookstore. Okay, so here you can see the answers. And they are correct. As you say, Jean needs a swimsuit. She's going to get it in the department store. Mom needs some cookies. She's going to get them at the supermarket. Dad needs an aspirin, and he's going to get them at the drugstore. And Mike needs a magazine, and he's going to get it at the bookstore. So, cool. Very good. Now, how are you doing so far? ¿Cómo vamos hasta ahorita? Is everything okay? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, so to continue with the presentation, we have uh, prepositions of place, right? Okay, so uh, we use the preposition in place. Uh, we have some of them here, right? And we are going to practice those prepositions we have on on the corner of, across from, next to, and between. Let's repeat, on. On. On the corner on. of. On the corner, the corner, corner of. Across from. Across, across from. from. Next to. Next to. Next to. Between. 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 Okay. It's for example, we we um we use on. ¿En qué qué significa on? ¿Cómo utilizamos en, on? En. 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 En la avenida. Si yo digo sobre. in, okay. Sobre. Sobre. Ajá, es para indicar que algo está sobre alguna superficie, right? Lo usamos para decir, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos una oración. The department store is on. It's on Main Street. Aquí estoy diciendo que la tienda de departamentos está sobre la calle principal. Okay, so on is to mention, um, como decir sobre, ¿verdad? It's um, like that. 
Now we have on the corner of. What is the meaning of on the corner of? En la esquina. En la esquina de. Ajá, en corner, esquina. Y aquí pues tenemos un ejemplo. Basándonos en el dibujito. Dice, it's on the corner of Main and First. Está en la esquina de Main, que es esta que ven acá, y la First Avenue. Entonces está describiendo la ubicación y también está utilizando las, um, el nombre de las calles, ¿verdad? Para ser un poco más específicos. Now we have across from. Frente a. O frente. Ah, en frente de. Ah, ya que vi enfrente de o al otro lado de o al cruzar. De la calle. Across from. And we have one sentence here. It's across from the park. park. Como al otro lado del parque o al cruzarse el parque. Yeah, across from the park. Now we have next to. And we have so an here. example here. It's next to the a bank. A la, par. a la par de, junto a, o contiguo, right? Now, between, what's between? En medio de. Entre. Entre, en medio de, y ahí mencionamos, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos, the bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Mencionamos las dos cosas que hay a cada lado, ¿verdad? The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. So estamos mencionando las cosas que hay a cada lado. Uh, questions so far? Questions? Okay, uh, en el material les mandé en la presentación en el PowerPoint una conversación similar a la que está en el video que vimos el jueves. Ajá, el jueves vimos el video. Había una conversación que es bastante similar a la que tienen el material. Entonces las mandé en la diapositiva para que podamos verla acá. Más listening. Esta me gusta más porque si sí, el señor suena como que de verdad tiene una emergencia. Ok, so we're going to listen. Vamos a escuchar y... Um, Poner atención a la pronunciación, luego lo voy a ir pausando para que ustedes repitan. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh, dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, there you have the conversation. Do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions. All right, so I'm going to play it again. Try to um, pronounce it as follows. Try to use intonation as well. Traten de repetir tal como lo oyen, ¿verdad? Con la entonación. ¿Verdad? Así como escuchamos, tratemos de imitar, ¿verdad? Para que suene como más natural. Vamos a practicar. Voy a poner el audio y voy a hacer las pausas. Cuando termine, por ejemplo, aquí, voy a hacer la pausa hasta aquí, hasta here. Cuando haga la pausa, ustedes repiten. Primero escuchen bien y luego traten de repetir imitando como escuchan. Page 87, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's an emergency. Listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A pu restroom Excuse around me. here? Can you help me? Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? 
A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. A public restroom? Oh no. My son needs a restroom. Now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Oh dear. 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 Where on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Yes. Yes. Thanks a lot. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Thanks a lot. All right. So lot. you have the conversation uh, in the PowerPoint presentation that I sent yesterday. En la presentación se las mandé ayer. Uh, ahí tienen esa conversación. Well, what I'm going to do now is to create the section group so you can practice the conversation in groups. Uh, let's uh, create the rooms and please click join or unirse so you can get in groups and practice this conversation.
Thank you, people that are still in the rooms. Okay, see everybody's back again. Let's see if we have volunteers to role play the conversation. Me. I go, I go. Okay, uh, we have two. Let me share the, okay, I'm sharing screen. Okay, veamos, ¿quién es dijeron me? Me. 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 Que no lo veo. Okelly es uno. Yes. Y Reina. Ok. Okelly empieza y Reina continúa. Ok. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? Ah, uh, public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no. My son needs a restroom now. It's an emergency. Oh dear. Well, there's a restaurant emergency. in the department department store in my street. Where on Main Street? It is on the corner on my in the first avenue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across for the park. You can skip. Thanks a lot. Okay, excellent. Well done. <laughs> cool. Now I have Osmel. Who wants to practice with Osmel? Um, here, teacher. Emma. Okay, Osmel, you start. Okay. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restaurant around here? A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Now it's an emergency. Oh dear, was there a restroom in the department store on Main Street? Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and uh, First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's a crown from the park. You can miss it. That's a lot. Okay, great. Great job. Thank you so much. Another two volunteers before we continue. Teacher. 
Yes. Solo quiero que me ayude con la pronunciación de emergencia. Emergency. Emergency. Uh -huh. Emergency. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yo puedo hacer gente voluntaria también. <laughs> okay, that's a terrific. <laughs> uh huh. Who else? Again. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay. I hear Joanna. Joanna, right? Pregúnteme. Y el otro, necesitamos otro. Sí. Sí. Ok, veo a Edwin. Ok, Edwin, empiece. Excuse me, can you hear me? It is a public restaurant around here. A public restaurant? Mm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom now. It is emergency. Oh dear, what is a restaurant in the department store on the main street? Where is in main street? It's on the corner, on the corner of Main and Fifth Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. You did a nice, nice job. Teacher, one question. Mm -hmm. um, Emergency, ¿dónde lleva la entonación? ¿En mer o gen? Emer, emergency. 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 Uh -huh. It's an emergency. Okay. Is there any other question? No, teacher, for me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to check attendance before we continue. So let me get ready. What's that document. Okay, uh, remember to say present. I just. Okay, two weeks left. All right, Ana Trinidad. Yes, teacher. Are you present? Present. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, Andrea Estefania. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Candida Janet. Present, teacher. Thank you. Dinora Estela. Dinora Estela. Present. Ok. Uh, Dios me asistito. Present. Thank you. Edwin de Jesús. Present, teacher. Thank you. Emily Jamilet. Emma Tatiana. Present. Okay, Eric Jonathan. I am here. Thank you, Irving Norberto. Present. Okay, Joanna Selina. Okay, Jorge Alberto. Juan Daniel. Juan Daniel is not here. Mm, Carla Maria. Present. Okay, thank you. Moises Eduardo. Present. And thank you. Okay, de Jesus. 
present teacher. All right, Oscar David. Present teacher, I'm here. Okay, Osmel Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Good, thank you. Uh, Rene Liceo. Reina Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Guadalupe. Saraí Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Giovanni. I am here. Thank you. And that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, uh, check the attendance. Let's continue with the exercises that we have here. Okay, we uh, clarified the meaning of the prepositions and we still have one exercise here. Let's see. Okay, we know the meaning of the prepositions. Vimos el significado de las preposiciones. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta o duda con esto? No questions. Ok, let us look at the map and complete the sentences. Vamos a ver este mapa. ¿Qué lugares vamos a ir? Teacher. Uh -huh. Con lo anterior tenía dudas. Este, por ejemplo, para decir esquina opuesta, algo así. O... Opposite. Ahí decimos opposite, opposite the corner of, y ahí decimos, en la, opuesto a la esquina de, opposite the corner of. Ok, thank you. Is Any other question? Ok, so, that map is also in your material. Este mapa lo tienen también en el material, ¿verdad? So, um, solo que sí es un poco diferente. En su material es, los dibujitos son un poco diferentes, pero en, el ejercicio es el mismo. So, we're going to watch and look for the places that we have here. Right, we have the parking lot, uh, the loft department store, the hospital, then the U.S. post office. Second Avenue Bookstore, David's Drugstore, TNJ Supermarket, Favorite Shoes, Oz Coffee Shop, uh, Regency Movie Theater, uh, Maria's Restaurant, the City Bank, and we have the park. So we're going to complete this exercise with the prepositions from the previous exercise. Right, if you see here, the coffee shop is Y tenemos Second Avenue. Para mencionar calle, decíamos, para decir sobre tal calle, sobre tal avenida, es on. The coffee shop is on Second Avenue. It's, it is at the shoe store. Veamos, aquí está la coffee shop. Sería next to. Ajá, podemos completar utilizando next to. Next to. The shoe store. Y así van a hacer con las demás. Le voy a dar tiempo para que completen el ejercicio y luego vamos a chequear las respuestas. Sí, yo puedo poner la pantalla. Ahorita. Y un poquito más grande. Sí, es que la voy a poner aquí. Para irlo haciendo más grande. Aquí, aquí sí lo puedo estirar bastante. <laughs> ok. Mm. Ay. Pero creo que aquí está muy grande. Acá. Gracias. Voy a darle otro poquito. Sí se puede.
Okay, are you done? Finished? Yeah. Okay, uh, volunteer for number two. No volunteers? Okay, so we have the coffee shop is on 2nd Avenue. It's next to the shoe store. What about number two? Volunteer for number two? The movie is theater. Okay, you should have the movie theater is on Park and Main. It's across from the park. Así les debió haber quedado la dos. The movie theater is on Park and Main. It's across from the park. Number three, the gas station. Is across the parking lot. Is across from the parking across lot. Across from, yes, I'm sorry. It's... Uh -huh. The gas station is across from the parking lot. It's on the corner of first and center. Number four, the post office. The post office is center state across from second avenue Street. Okay, the post office is in the corner of Central and Second. It's next to the hospital. And finally, number five, the punk is between the restaurant and the department store. It's on Main Street. Okay, those were the answers for the exercise. So, I know it is time for bed, you're tired, <laughs> so I'm not going to take you more time. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining today's section. Sleep well. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Take tomorrow. care. Tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Good night.